Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you how to create your Facebook landing, Facebook group landing page. I did a Facebook Live earlier describing what a Facebook group landing page is. That is such a long term. I'm gonna have to come up with a nickname for that. Um, so a lot of people have lead magnets out there. And the purpose of a lead magnet is to generate leads. You're trying to build your email list and you want people to opt in to give you their name and their email address so that you can build your email list. But in order to do that, you need to pull these clients in your ideal, um, I call them PCs, potential clients. You need to pull them in. You have to entice them. You have to give them something for free in order for them to exchange and give you their email address. And you do that with a lead magnet. That's the number one way. I like to filter people in through my Facebook group and I see that a lot of other people are starting to do that as well. But you just don't want people joining your Facebook group because that's another way that you can add on to your email list. So what you wanna do is when people join your Facebook group, you wanna capture their, e their names and their emails right then and there before they join your group. And I know tons of people because I've joined groups like this inside of the questionnaire, you know, you get three membership questions. A lot of people say, what's your email address right there? I don't do that because I'm not about to take all of those email addresses and insert them into a database. That's too, that's too much work. So I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. I use a system called Kajabi. Um, I use them for an email service provider. I use them for my membership. I use them for online courses. I use them for everything. So the screenshots that you see here or with the screen recording that you see, all of this is done inside of Kajabi. So I am going to show you how I set my pages up. Just let me move this recording box out of the way. Okay, so this is what we do. If you go to my Facebook group, this is what you will see. Let me move this out the way real quick. This is what you will see. In the description, the very, very, very first thing that anyone should see should be the link to your Facebook group landing page. When you click this link, it's going to take you here. And a lot of you probably have already saw this if you joined my Facebook group. It's going to say, come and join the Facebook group, blah, 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 blah. You give them a description and then you tell them what you're going to give them. I like to give my new subscribers Canva templates. It's just a little bundle. And that gets sent to them automatically as soon as they join my email list. So right here, and you can filter this at any time um, and you can edit this, but I have their name. I would like to, I would like for them to give me their Facebook profile name because I like to cross compare and make sure, okay, this person did just join and they are who they say they are. And then I want you to give me your email address. As soon as you click on join group, you are then taken to this thank you page right here. And this is a page that I customize. I'm just saying, Hey, welcome to the group and enter the group here. As soon as they click enter the group, it's going to take them back to my Facebook. And then this is where they can fill out the membership questions. Inside of that, I think it's question number two. I asked them, what email address did you use to sign up for my group? And I've already gotten a notification that they've signed up. So all I do is just compare the two. And I click approve. That's simple. Once all of that is complete, Kajabi will automatically take their names and their email addresses and put them inside of a database for you. So you don't have to collect email addresses. You don't have to do anything. All of that is set up on automation. So we're going to walk through this again. If you want to do the same thing, you take the first, the very first line inside of your description should be the link to join your Facebook group. And that should take them to a landing page. So right here, before they even begin to read your description, if you want to join the group, click here. Next, it will take them to your landing page. They enter in their name, email address. They don't have to enter in a Facebook profile. That's just something that I put in there. Their name, their email address, and join group. Once they do that, it will take them here to your thank you page. They click enter the group, and they are now inside of your group member request. Once that is complete, 
an email will be automatically sent to your new subscriber. And I have my email. It just says like, welcome to the group. I'll also give them another link inside of that email to join the group. And then I have another link inside of there that says, welcome, thanks for signing up. And here's a Canva template bundle. And then when they click on that link for the Canva templates, it's going to automatically take them to um, a Canva screen. And then this way they can download their Canva templates. So make sure you give them something like some incentive for signing up. And this is where a lot of you guys will include your lead magnet. So on this screen, you can say, if you enter in your um, info below, you will be sent ABC lead magnet. And then whatever your lead magnet is, you will save that inside of the email that you're gonna automatically send them. So now I'm gonna show you the steps on how to create this page, the landing page, and I'm gonna show you how to create the thank you page. So we're gonna come over here inside of Kajabi. I'm sorry, I work on Ecamm. So when you see me move, you don't see this part, but when you see me moving my mouse, I'm just like moving the Ecamm screen out of, screen out of the way so I can see. Okay, so let me go back. I already have test pages open. And so this is how it will work. You would go to new page right here in the corner. And you will find a template that you like for your landing page to look like. You just scroll down, choose any template. But since I already have my page, I'm just going to click there. You'll click customize. And then this right here will be the landing page for your Facebook group. You can edit this if you like, but for right now, we'll just leave their name, their email address and submit. You can change the background photo. If you just click here, you can upload a new image. You can put a video. If you want to change the words, you just click right there where it says edit. You double click there. I know, especially on Wix, because I know a lot of people use the Wix. I used to use Wix and Squarespace too. I know you usually type right here in this box, but for Kajabi, you click right here and then you edit it on the left. Then if you want to edit this part right here, you just click edit. Go there. And this is where you would upload your forms. I have about 10 different options. So once you're done editing all of this information, make sure you put a description of your Facebook group. Let me come back over so you can see what mine look like. Make sure you put a description, let them know a little bit about your lead magnet, what incentives they get for joining, the different things that you'll talk about inside of your Facebook group. And this will be that same page right there. Once you're done, make sure you click save. Now we're going to talk about the thank you page right here. So that's this page. Let me go back so I can show you inside of Kajabi where you can do a thank you page at. You'll click new page. And if you scroll all the way down, they already have a template of a thing right here. Thank you for signing up. So I already have that page ready to go for you as a test page. And then you'll click customize because we want to tweak and edit the page. And here we have it. This is your thank you page. You'll just say like, thank you for something. Let's see what I have on mine. Okay, so this background is the blurred background that I created inside of Kajabi. If you go inside of your membership, you have the same exact blurred background. Um, all you have to do is just save it into your Canva account, add an image, add your picture, add a picture of your Facebook group. It doesn't matter. And make sure you save it. Then you'll upload it. You'll click here to change the background and you go to image. Once you click on image, down here, you're gonna click pick a file. This is for a background image, but if you do the top, that's for a background video. So you can either add a video to the background or you can add an image to the background. Right here inside of mine, I just have an image. So you change that, you put a little image up, or you can just leave it like this. It doesn't matter. It can just be plain and simple. You'll tell them, check your inbox or their confirmation email. And right here, I'm going to show you how to embed your link. Right here, I embedded my Facebook group link. So as soon as they click on this link, it's going to automatically take them here to this Facebook group. And this is how you're going to do it. Let's come back over. You'll click on this link because you want to edit the link. You can change it to, say, um, enter Facebook group. 
you can change the color, you can change the background, you can change the font, you can change a lot of things, but we're just going to keep it as is. Now, when we come up here, you're, the button action, what do you want to happen when your client or your customer clicks on this button? Do you want it to take them to a URL? Do you want it to automatically down your, download your freebie file? Do you want them to go to a checkout page? Do you want them to go to a landing page? What I do is I want them to go to a URL. That means what website, right here you have to put in, what website would you like for them to go to once they click on this button? You'll click here and then you'll copy. We'll go right here and then we'll just command C. I have a max value command C. And then you'll come over here and then you'll put the URL there. You'll just paste it. And then you click save and then you're done. So now your Facebook group landing page will look exactly like mine. They'll enter in their information. They'll click join group. As soon as they're done clicking join group, it will take them to a thank you page right here. Remember, you're going to embed your Facebook group link right there. So when they click on that link, it's going to automatically take them to your Facebook group where they can then go ahead and answer the membership questions. And that's it. So now when you put your lead magnet out there, let me see. Now, when you put your lead magnet out there, you're growing your email list. You can collect names in your suite. You can have, like, for instance, me. I have um, customers and clients all around the world. If I'm asleep, if it's 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and someone wants to join my Facebook group, I don't have to do anything. Everything is on automation. They go on to here. They click the link. They're taken to the landing page. They'll then take into the thank you page. And all of those names are already collected. So I can wake up to 200 new subscribers, 300 new subscribers. And Kajabi will automatically send you an email. So when I log on in the morning or if I look at my phone and my email, I'll just see the long list. So-and-so signed up to um, join your Facebook group. So-and-so signed up to join your Facebook group. And then when I go into my Kajabi email list, those names are already in there. I didn't have to do anything. Everything is on automation. You'll hear me talk about that a lot. Put your systems on automation to do the work for you so you don't have to do all of the legwork. You don't have to do everything the long way. Automate your systems. And Kajabi is perfect for that. So if you have any questions, send me a message or comment down below and I will address those questions. And as always, be phenomenal or just be forgotten. And thank you so much for watching my Facebook group landing page video. Gosh, we have to really find a short name for that. See you guys in the next video.